I remember when I used to look forward to coming here. You know, it's not too late to change your plea to not guilty. Thank you, Sam. And I could not agree with you more. Alexis, listen to the advice that you would give to any of your clients. The law makes allowances for mitigating circumstances. Use them. I know that you're both on my side. But I've made my decision. What was that you said about fighting your demons? If you have the courage to face them, they vanish. You're not the one facing prison charges. Listen to your daughter, Alexis. Noble gestures, they're all well and good, but this is your life we're talking about, honey. Don't tie my hands. Let me fight for you. The irony is I could really use a drink right now. No, 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 no. But you're not going to have one. No, I'm not going to have one. I am so proud of you. We're all proud of you. And Alexis, if you are strong enough not to drink today, you are strong enough to let me fight for you. I think it's entirely possible that strength and sobriety come from the same place. It takes guts to face the consequences of your actions. Why do you keep encouraging her to plead guilty and send herself to prison? I'm not. I'm here supporting Alexis. I want to see her recover from her addiction. How she chooses to own up to what she's done and make amends, that's entirely up to her. Making amends means pleading guilty, which means she will send herself straight to prison. Alexis. You and I both know that pleading not guilty doesn't mean you're innocent. It just means that you are using the judicial system the way it should be used. Just a little while ago, Marcus Taggart pleaded not guilty, and now he's out on bail, and his attorney is has time to, to mount his defense. Taggart was accused of a federal crime. He went before a federal judge. Mom, please listen to Diane. Plead not guilty. Give her a chance to come up with a strategy so you don't have to go to prison. Extra time isn't going to change what happened. I was drunk, and I was out of control, and I plunged a syringe full of lidocaine into Dante's chest, and I almost killed him. I need to face the consequences. 